Hi guys, welcome to another coaster review. This time I'm reviewing Alpengeist at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, located in Williamsburg, Virginia. <coughs> so today I'm going to be reviewing this coaster, but first, let's start with the stats, shall we? So this coaster has a height of 195 feet, which is the world's tallest inverted coaster, and has a drop of 170 feet, speed of 67 miles per hour, opened in March 22nd of 1997, was manufactured by B&M, has a length of 3,828 feet of track, has 6 inversions, has a ride duration of 3 minutes 10 seconds, and pulls 3.7 Gs. Not bad stats at all. There are, a lot, there are two different types of people out there. There are those that love this coaster, and there are those who, who just don't like this coaster. I love this coaster. I think this is fantastic. And, like, so I came in here... Believe it or not, I actually came into this ride with very low expectations because I watched Coaster Studios' review before I rode this coaster. And so I got off of it, like, because he said it was very rough, so I was expecting it to be very rough. And I was honestly very surprised that it wasn't rough at all. Yes, it had a small rattle, but it wasn't anything bad. So I'm like, wow, that was amazing. But, like... I think the inversions on this ride are very good. I think it's just also the height and all. That's so cool how it is 195 feet tall. Where do you find an inverted coaster that tall? And plus, like, you can definitely tell it is 195 feet tall. The way that it just uses the train to its advantage is just incredible. And while it's not the fastest inverted coaster out there, which that belongs to Banshee at Kings Island, it's still the tallest, but like, and yeah, that's just like, there's just some awesome elements to it as well. Plus, also, the, um, which I'll get to later, it has some good theming, which I'll talk about one of the coolest things about the ride later, but yeah, I mean, I think this ride was very smooth, very well done. It's also, it's also a very iconic roller coaster. If you actually get in the right spot towards like Verbolton, you can actually get a pretty decent shot of Griffin, Loch Ness Monster, and Alpengeist. Or, clo or even if you're closer towards it, the coasters. And if you're lucky enough, you can actually get a photo of Griffin, Alpengeist, and Loch Ness Monster all going at the same time. So that's really cool. And, yeah, so that's just one of the reasons why Alpengeist is a very iconic coaster. It's just a very iconic ride. And I was expecting, as well, to be a for there to be a ton of headbanging. However, I did not get a single headbang at all. Which is really just so cool. So let's get to the ride. So you have the entrance right here, open guys. And there's also like a little bit of like a face pop-up kind of thing. I don't know, it's not really like a pop-up. It's just kind of like one of those things where you put your head into. It's like you as a skier. It's it's pretty cool. If I could say that. Say so. Um so then you enter the ride, go through a line, and then you have the station. The trains are just kind of like the same as most B&M inverts. So then you leave the station, and you go up this 195-foot lift hill. And the lift hill is very loud. You can literally hear it. Like, you know, like, if you know, like, Montu's lift hill is pretty silent, this is very loud. And so then you, so you crest up to the top, and then you go down the 170-foot drop. The drop's good. It's not like one of my favorite elements of the ride, but I think it's a good drop. So that you go down the drop, then you go through an element. I thought the element was pretty good on Alpengeist. Not the best element out there, but it was it was a good element. So then after that, you've got this vertical loop, which is a really nice vertical loop. And then this is a part that everyone hates, which is the Cobra Roll. And normally, I'm not a big fan of Cobra Roll. I mean, I'm fine with most Cobra Rolls, however, this I was so surprised by. This was honestly my favorite part of the entire ride. And here's why. There is so much whip on this element. Like, okay, the Cobra, if you remember me for, if you know me for a long time, you know that on Dragon Challenge, the Hankaren Horde side, they, that coaster had a Cobra Roll. And I did not like that Cobra Roll at all. But for some reason, I just like this Cobra Roll. Like, it's honestly one of my favorite Cobra Rolls. It's right up there with Hulk and Kumba. And some would say Kraken as well. 
<laughs> so yeah, I think Alpha Guess is a pretty strong Cobra roll. I think it didn't bang my head around at all, which was so nice. So then after that, you go up through a little bit of a terrain section, and you go up into the mid-course breaker, and this is one moment that a lot of people don't like either. Because, yes, I will admit for yourself, you do kind of snap into that mid-course break run, which is not usually the best thing out there. So you, so you go to the mid-course break run, then you drop down, and you, in this this part, like you actually drop down and you go underneath the bridge. There's a bridge that um, you go walk through if you're trying to like walk from this right of Griffin or something like that. And then it's like the coaster world actually goes underneath the bridge, which is really cool. So then after that, you've got a, a zero-G roll, which... I thought it was a pretty cool element. It's literally right next to the lock loom. So then after that, then you got a final corkscrew, which, yeah, I thought the corkscrew was alright, but then this is the coolest part of the whole ride. One of the coolest parts is this ending. You have a couple of helixes, but you're, you're like underneath snow. It, or like above snow. Like, there's snow. Like, it's so cool. Like, that is just one of those reasons why this is a very well themed coaster. <laughs> so then after that, then you hit the final break button, and that ends your Alpengeist experience. So overall, what do I think of Alpengeist? I think it is a very strong b &M invert. Is it my favorite inverted coaster I've ridden? No. But is it a great ride? Definitely. So what am I giving for its final score? Out of a possible 10, Alpengeist will be getting a 9 out of 10. Congratulations. I think Alpengeist is a very strong inverted coaster. And definitely one of my favorite coasters I've done. I'd call it the second best roller coaster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, just behind Apollo's Chariot. So, that will end this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment down below. What are your thoughts on Alpengeist? Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and more reviews in the future. Also, don't forget to check out the social media link, which will be in the description below. See you guys next time. Have a theme day.